Hello all, this is David from Sunward Hobbies here to review this brand old AMT kit. No, not today. Though we are going to be taking a look at a brand new paint from Ammo by Make. It is their Cobra Motor Paints. These are an acrylic base paint with a matte finish mostly for cars, you guessed it. And today I'm gonna to be cracking one open, this red color, to test it out, see how it paints with a brush, and to let you know if it's worth your money or not. Let's get into it. Alrighty then. Now, before I started filming this, I had assumed that these paints were lacquer being uh, paints for cars that you'd have to buff up and polish and everything. But no, as I found out just seconds before filming, this is acrylic paint. So now I'm a little skeptical on how good this will be. But we'll give it a fair shake. For an example, I picked out number 312, which is 50s and 60s Rosso Corsa. Roughly translates to racing red in Italian. So first, I'm curious how this smells. got almost an alcohol based type of smell similar to Tamiya. Here have a swig. See what I mean? Anyway I should give this a, more of a shake before I start testing it out. Yeah, you can hear the mixing ball in there. That's pretty standard with ammo paints. Now this uh, car that I picked out for uh, painting subject was for a uh, majority of it already painted. So unfortunately I got to paint over this uneven surface rather than the nice smooth body. Now I'd normally have the thinner with me too to see how it uh, would paint on with, with a little bit of thinner but uh, afraid we don't have any at the moment. So let's just get into it. Oh wow. That actually goes on really nice, especially for a red. Pressed on that front. We'll add a little more paint here. And being as though this is acrylic, it shouldn't take too long to dry.
this is one coat too. So I am pretty impressed so far. should be good. Well, in terms of how it goes on, leveling, finish, stuff like that, I give this an A. But what's going to make or break this is its durability. So I'm going to give this some time to dry. We'll be right back and we'll do a quick test with some masking tape to see how that turns out. One time jump later and our paint is now dry. So it's now time to test if this is tough enough. Got some masking tape here. Now normally acrylic paint that's been applied without a primer is prone to peeling and chipping off very easy. So we're going to see what happens here. And nothing. Let's try a little firmer this time. No, it is indeed tough. It's, well, it's at least prone to peeling off with masking tape. But I'm pretty certain that uh, if you tried sanding this, it would come off, as that's just what acrylic paint does. That's why they recommend if you are buffing or polishing your car model, to use their clear coat, their hardener, and their thinner. Now this was what confused me earlier, as it says the clear coat is a clear lacquer. That no doubt is to ensure that when you are sanding after the clear coat that it withstands all that abuse. And you of course mix that with the hardener, which does probably what you would expect it to. And then mix all those together with some thinner. And they say that the proper ratio for these is two parts clear, one part hardener, and one part thinner. So that, that's basically a, a 60-20-20 mix. So yeah, that pretty much covers my haphazard review of these Cobra motor paints. From what I see, they look quite impressive. Although I will say the, um, the brush marks are somewhat evident if you look really close. But that's just what you get with hand painting. I'm sure if you airbrush this, it would look quite nice. In conclusion, Cobra motor paints are a pleasant surprise. They go on quite nicely, good coverage, and for an acrylic paint they are surprisingly durable. Plus, not to mention with the added clear coat and hardener, 
you should have no problem buffing or polishing your model cars and not worry about damaging the paint. So yeah, I actually recommend it. I might even get some for myself. So thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one, adios. What? I only used a little bit of paint. It's still good to sell.